this next problem involves addition and subtraction of fractions. Since the denominators are not the same, we have a 2, a 9, and a 3, we will have to look for the least common denominator, which is nothing but the least common multiple of the denominators involved. For 2, we have 2. For 9, we have 3 squared. For 3, we already have that in 3 squared, and therefore the least common denominator is the product of 2 and 3 squared or 18. So, we can write this three fractions as a single fraction with this common denominator 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9 and that's what we multiply to a plus 1. 18 by 9 is 2, so we have 2 times quantity to a minus 1. And 18 by 3 is 6. So we have negative 6 times quantity a minus 2. Distributing 9 in this first term, we have 9a plus 9. Distributing 2, we have 4a minus 2. And distributing negative 6, we have negative 6a plus 12 all over 18. Now, if we combine similar terms in the numerator, 9a plus 4a is 13a, minus 6a is 7a. And for the numbers, we have 9 minus 2 is 7, and 7 plus 12 is 19. So the final answer for this problem, wherein we added and subtracted fractions, is... 7a plus 19 all over 18.